Like most people, I was skeptical that they were going to actually do a sequel to Jumanji, since the original with Robin Williams is just one of those films that I watched dozens of times over the years. You know, it's like part of my childhood. But, I mean, I do like a lot of the cast in this film, and some of the stuff in the trailers did look entertaining. So I figured I'd at least give it a chance. I mean, I feel like it at least deserved, deserved a chance. I mean, The Rock, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan is directed by Jake Kasdan, you know, the son of Lawrence Kasdan, who did, you know, Empire Strikes Back and Force Awakens and all that. Plus, it's also really cool that Amazon Prime's doing this thing where they actually show it weeks ahead of time, because it doesn't come out till around, like, Christmas time, at least in the U.S. I don't know about internationally. So I got to see it today instead of waiting weeks about it, so I can actually talk about it now instead. So here are my thoughts on Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle! I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself with that one. I have to admit, I did actually really enjoy this movie. I mean, it's not Academy Award winning entertainment, but it's like popcorn style entertainment. So, I mean, take it for what it's worth. It is kind of silly how they explain how Jumanji went from a board game into a video game. So I'm not going to go into that because that's kind of spoilery. But, I mean, if you've seen the trailers, you know that basically it's basically the whole plot. I mean, it's just four kids get sucked into a game and they have to play the game and beat the game to get, you know, put back in the real world. None of them are bad by any means, but you don't really get too much with the actual kids in the film, since they're kind of just there to set up the brief characteristics for each character before they get put into the video game. Obviously, all the characters that are in the video game are the main stars of the film anyway. I mean, The Rock's pretty much in, like, every third movie that's coming out over the next few years, but he definitely deserves a lot of praise for this film, because he's actually one of the better things in the film, if I'm being honest. The Rock is this big, charismatic guy, but the kid that picks him for the game is, like, this really scrawny, dorky, nerdy kind of character. Which is kind of funny because it's obviously the complete contrast of The Rock since he's, you know, The Rock. Uh, Kevin Hart's like this big muscular black guy football player before he gets turned into Kevin Hart in the game. Which is also pretty funny because he goes from this big hulking muscular football player to being like five foot five or however short Kevin Hart is. If you like Kevin Hart, you're definitely going to like this film because Kevin Hart kind of just plays Kevin Hart once again. Like that's kind of, I mean, that's, he's just a short funny dude. And if you like that, then you're going to like him in the movie. Like, that's all I'm saying about it. I think Karen Gillan's character changes the least between the two before, you know, before getting sucked in the game and then the character she is in the game. Because they're both, like, fiery redheads that are, like, smart and kind of, like, tough tough girls. But, I mean, I actually did enjoy Karen Gillan in this film with, you know, what she had. Although it is, like she said in the movie, it's pretty impractical for her to wear, like, this weird skimpy outfit in the jungle. But, I mean, it is a video game, and video games do like to exploit female characters a lot of the time. But Jack Black is the most ridiculous of them all, obviously, since it's a girl the whole time, and he gets... And then she gets sucked into the game and turns into Jack Black, because she's, like, this really vain, shallow girl that only cares about, like, her appearance and herself. Then she just turns into this big, you know, Jack Black. I mean... <laughs> Like, what? Who thought that was a good idea? It did work. It was pretty funny, but it was just like, really? Like, you're going to turn Jack Black into a teenage girl? All four of them work really well together in this film, and I think that's one of the film's strengths, is how they have really good chemistry. Especially Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart, since, I mean, they obviously have a history because they've done previous films together. But Jack Black and Karen Gillan have some really good scenes together. Some good, some bad. I'll get to the bad later. But I think my favorite parts probably were the interactions between Kevin Hart and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They're, like, they have some of the best humor in the, in the movie, I'll be honest. Usually it's a complaint in movies when the action looks too video gamey, but it actually fits in this film since it actually is, like, pretty much a video game. So they're doing crazy action throughout most of this film. They're doing, like, unbelievable, ridiculous flips and jumps, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson just picks people up and throws them hundreds of feet in the air. Like, they go buck wild with the whole action, like, unbelievable stuff, video game style. And I think that's what makes this film so fun, because it's so action-packed. Plus the humor aspect, and although this film was pretty funny, there were some parts that didn't really hit with me that much that I found were kind of just pointless that didn't really need to, like, go on as long as it did. For example, there's one scene where Jack Black, well keep in mind Jack Black's character is a girl and he has to pee and obviously you know how that works, you know the genders and all that. So they're trying to teach him how to pee, you know, as a man since it's a girl. And that scene really lingers for a while for some reason and it's just like I was really like really waiting for it to end. There's that scene and then there's a scene later on where Jack Black teaches Karen Gillan's character how to flirt, which is also really weird. <laughs> Like, I, did, I just thought it was more weird than funny. I mean, a lot of people in my theater didn't think it was that funny either. Like, I feel like they could have cut down on some of that stuff to, like, you know, keep the pace flowing because it was kind of, like, action scenes and this crazy stuff happens and it's, like, I don't know why it was there. If they were shorter, I'd give it a pass, but since they're not, I kind of have to make it a negative. Also, one more thing, there's supposed to be an antagonist in this game that they're in. You know, kind of like how Van Pelt was, like, one of the antagonists in the original film. But he's really not in it that much for being an antagonist. I mean... 
he's only in probably like a half dozen scenes at the most, most of them towards the end. I mean, he's very underwhelming and not used very much. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's creepy looking. Like, I give him that. But I don't really like him that much. He was pretty forgettable for the most part. And like, you kind of forget he exists half the time because he just shows up and is like, oh yeah, that's, the, that's that guy we gotta worry about. He's pretty evil. I guess you could also debate that Jumanji itself is like the central antagonist of the film. But he's kind of just tacked on and like I really feel like he should have had more screen time or just cut him out completely. But you know, it is what it is. Moving on to my score for the film, I'd have to give Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle a B. I was surprised. This was actually a really fun movie. I have to admit I did have a good time watching it. I do recommend going to see this. I feel like it's a really good companion piece to the original Jumanji. But I mean, don't expect to go in with like an Academy Award winning masterpiece or anything. It's not the best movie you'll ever see in your lifetime but you'll at least enjoy it somewhat. But yeah, thank you for checking out my review. Uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button. But uh, until the next time, I'll see you guys later.